What, what are they going to do with this? Do they yeah. eat it? Do they take it to the house and they eat it? Yeah. They eat it? Mm -hmm. I think so. That one at the back is going backwards. Uh, look, he's pushing it with his back legs and he's pulling it with his front legs. Can you pretend to be a narrator for the BBC or something? I'm making a video. Oh, are you? Mm hmm. Okay. Now we're watching the two dung beetles. Move the ball of dung. Oh, that, look how regular it the is. Kaka, we're doing a baby <gasps> BBC documentary. You're interrupting. Oh my day, seriously, he's fallen down the stone hole. <laughs> no, he's trying to dig a hole and they will take it down. Oh my goodness, is that, that where they live? This could be an yeah. amazing, this could be a fascinating discovery. We could discover the dung beetle's home. We're just waiting for the first dung beetle to resurface. It's really regular. It's so funny. It's really Kaka, you're not talking in a BBC documentary <laughs> voice. <laughs> oh, there, where is he? He's scratching around. He's trying to find his home. He's not sure where it is because they covered it up so well that they're confused themselves. <laughs> He's about to resurface. And he discovers that it might be slightly more southwest. So if he checks again, you can see the stones moving around as he scrabbles and round underneath them, while his partner waits patiently at the surface of the hole. You can see clouds, they don't see here. Here we have dung beetle expert Katka. What? No, I'm not. <laughs> Come on, Katka, you love talking about dung beetles. You're always telling me and Victoria about them. Uh, <laughs> As you can see, the partner who waits at the surface of the hole dead. is playing dead because he thinks that we're going to eat him as well as his dung. Because he can see those huge animals standing above him. <gasps> Fortunately, Katka is an expert at dung beetle semaphore <laughs> and she's about to communicate with the dung beetle to tell him that we're, no, we're not predators of his dung or his own body but that we're just here to make a BBC documentary. So is it the female or a male one that is up? At the moment, we can't tell. We don't have a good view. But as soon as the uh, second beetle resurfaces and they start movement again, we should be able to tell you. Hello. 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 Please. You can't wrap it up, you just have to sit here and film until he comes back. <laughs> you should build a fence around and no one steps on him. Okay, Vicky, as... Can you bring up the battery? Step on him. Vicky, are you...